here at the launch site. The balloons are going up behind us. Oh my god, it's so exciting! Cappadocia is one of Turkey's most popular tourist destinations and it's not hard to see why. Located in the heart of this vast country, Cappadocia is a land of fairy chimneys, cave houses and beautiful horses. We're spending four days in the town of Gorome, right in the heart of this rugged landscape and we'll be taking to the skies in our first ever hot air balloon flight, overcoming our claustrophobia as we explore underground cities. This really is a labyrinth, no? Yeah, it's tiny. <laughs> Wow. And of course, going on plenty of hikes. Welcome to Cappadocia. So one of the more unique features about Cappadocia is that they have all of these amazing rock formations everywhere. And what the people here have done is actually build these hotels and their homes and everything into the rocks. You basically can stay in these cave hotels. You can see just how crazy it is here. We're literally inside the rock. It's really, really unique. And what's also cool is that most of them, because they're built quite high up, you get these amazing views out across the whole of Gorome. The balcony is just amazing, isn't it? So crazy. I just can't get enough of it. Camera's probably not doing it justice. The plan for today is to head down into Gorome, explore a little bit. There's a really cool carpet shop here. It's called Gallery Ickman. You've probably seen a million photos of it it's on very Instagram. Very Instagrammable, so let's we're see gonna, what all the hype's about. Yeah, we're gonna go <laughs> check that out first and then head off on a little hike a little bit later in the day up some of the valleys around here. Hopefully we get some really cool, amazing views. So excited to be here. This is one of the most popular spots here in Cappadocia, as you've probably seen many times for very good reason. But what they've started to do here is they've started to charge $12 per person for photo shoots and stuff, just to shoot with your own camera. And obviously you can hire like a professional photographer as well if you want. So we just paid like 200 Turkish lira and we're allowed to take videos and, and film in here. It's not too cool. bad. It's definitely worth coming in. It's such a unique little shop. It's like a museum, but you can purchase any of the carpets if you like it. Our hike today is probably going to be around 11 kilometers and the plan is to go up a place called the Pigeon Valley up to a little town called Uchisa which is just to the north of Gorome and there's a really cool sort of like I mean it's it's not a castle it's called a castle but it's like a really cool rock formation yeah. that resembles a castle which we actually seen yesterday as we drove yes, into yeah. Gorome once we get to Uchisa we're then gonna circle back around down the Love Valley which is another valley that leads up from Gorome it's just gonna be a nice little circular walk hopefully not not too hot hopefully yeah hopefully not too hot because we are starting it in the middle of the day but there's a nice breeze at the moment so fingers crossed we'll stay cool Crazy is this landscape. <laughs> There's nothing, nothing like this. I think the closest thing we can compare it to is maybe the Tatakoa Desert yeah, in Colombia. Oh, 
All right, so we've made it up to Uchisar up Pigeon Valley, and you can see straight away why they call it Uchisar Castle. Definitely resembles a castle, huh? Yeah, it does. How about the view from there? It's really nice to see a few people from the top. be like top. all the way around there. Uchizar Castle is an impressive fortress of rock that was thought to have been the main point of defense in the region. It was also an important social hub with possibly up to 1,000 people calling the castle home. Today is one of the best preserved cave homes in the region and is also the highest point in Cappadocia, so the panoramic views of the top are spectacular. No, but really, like, how much does this landscape remind you of the Flintstones? <laughs> Fred! Hello, 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 hello. We're the Flintstones, don't know the rest of the words. All right, cool experience for 50 Turkish Lira. Now we're gonna head back down to the bottom of the hill and down the Log Valley. I think the Love Valley is even more beautiful than the Pigeon Valley. Oh, it's really, no. really amazing. These formations. Like up here, the, the rocks are just look so smooth. It just looks like almost candy, like a pamakale, you know? I think probably a little more technically difficult to walk on. The trail is a little bit uh, treacherous at times, like this and going up here. I think the Pigeon Valley is definitely easier if you're not too confident a hiker. Both valleys are equally beautiful. Love Valley is maybe slightly more. Final viewpoint of the day. Almost finished the loop around the Love Valley and the Pigeon Valley. We're just heading back into Gourmet now. Absolutely amazing formations here. It's just incredible. I mean, everywhere you go, it's amazing. We're gonna head back into Gourmet now, get something to eat. And then tomorrow morning, we are going on the balloon ride. So we will see you bright and early in the morning. Time to go fly. We're here at the launch site. Balloons are going up behind us. Oh my god, it's so exciting! It's so cool to be this close to them. It's I like know. crazy. They're just so much bigger when you see them up close. Oh now. my god. A few of them are already up, so it was really nice to see them going up and prepping and everything. But now I can't wait for ours. Yeah, now I just want to go. Let's go! <laughs> ours is this one. As our balloon was inflated, we were allowed to step foot inside for a bit, which really made us appreciate even more just how big these things are. Then it was finally time to get in the basket.
The pilot ran us through some last minute safety advice and then we were off. Words can't even begin to describe how magical this experience is. We felt like we were in a dream and spent the entire flight with massive smiles on our faces. Our pilot was exceptionally skilled and by seeing Cappadocia from up high was amazing. Some of our favourite moments were when he took us down into the valleys themselves, getting us super close to the formations and somehow avoiding hitting anything. Unfortunately, all good things must come to an end and our pilot didn't let us down with the landing, making a perfect stop right onto the trailer. Our balloon was deflated and we were allowed to disembark, but there was one more surprise in store. Okay, three, two, one, and go! Thank you. With our certificates in hand, we hopped back on the bus and arrived back to our hotel feeling pretty happy. Wow. What an experience. Unbelievable. If you're in any doubt as to whether to do a hot air balloon in Cappadocia, like if you're worrying about the price, it's expensive, so worth it. It's just the most amazing experience. It felt like I was a drone, <laughs> you know. So many nice touches as well. Cake and champagne and everything at the end. Breakfast in the morning if we wanted it. It's a really, really great experience overall. We'll link the company that we went with down in the description, but... Definitely worth it. Definitely worth it. Just do it. If you do one thing here in Cappadocia, do that. This afternoon we've come out to the Gourmet Open Air Museum, which is just outside of Gourmet, really easy to walk to. It was about 150 Turkish Lira to get in, and the reason you pay more for this area, or you pay for this area, is because you can see all of the original frescoes here, it's which... It's pretty beautiful, it's really beautiful, yeah. I think for that it's definitely worth coming here and paying the entry fee. Because you can see the formations everywhere yeah. else for free, but for the, the paintings, I think it's really worth coming here. It just gives you an idea of like what these caves would have looked yeah. like before. Unfortunately, you can't take photos or videos in a lot of the caves because obviously they don't want you to damage the uh, murals more than they already are. We'll share as much as we can with you and yeah it's definitely worth a short trip. So to finish the day today, we've come up to Sunset Point, which is just above Gorome. We actually had to pay five Turkish Lira each to come up to this spot. I think there's probably other ways up if you don't come up the main road, but if you're coming up the main road from Gorome, you do have to pay five Turkish Lira each. So make sure you have some cash. This is definitely one of the top spots to watch the sunset from. Sunset's just behind us, the Red Valley over there. So it's really, really beautiful. So now we're just gonna watch the sunset and then grab something to eat. And then tomorrow we have an exciting tour coming up. Can't wait for that.
The next morning was our first real chance to get up early and see the balloons floating through the sky from our hotel balcony. Whilst not quite as magical as being in one of the balloons, it was still an amazing sight to wake up to each morning for the rest of our stay. The tour we're doing today is called the Green Tour and it is one of many tours you can do here in Cappadocia. They have like a tour for each different region. The green one is the south. The tour begins with a stop at the Pigeon Valley viewpoint, which is the same valley we walked up on our first day. You get some nice views from here and there are plenty of shops and stores, but we quickly moved on to the main activity of the tour, a visit to the Rinkuyu underground city in the town of the Rinkuyu to the south of Garemi. This sprawling underground city is one of a number in Cappadocia. They have been used as refuges since possibly the 8th or 7th centuries BC. Derinkuyu is the largest in Turkey, with its maze of labyrinthine tunnels and rooms extending approximately 85 meters down into the ground. It was large enough to accommodate up to 20,000 people and contained living quarters, chapels, kitchens, and even stables. It's definitely not a place you want to visit, though, if you suffer from any level of claustrophobia. This really is a labyrinth, you know? <laughs> Wow, leg day. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> so crazy. It's just such a crazy place to live. Like, I cannot imagine living down here. Must have had like permanently sore necks and really big legs. After setting foot back into the light of day, the next stop on our tour was Ilara Valley, a lush river canyon with steep walls and lined with ancient churches. So our third stop is this cool looking canyon, which we're now walking through on our way to lunch. Very nice and green Yes, here. it's quite good, this green tour so far. There's been a lot of different things on it. A diverse tour, wouldn't you say? Yeah, and yeah. I like the fact that it's only about the 10 of us. Yeah. Total. We've seen other groups doing the same green tail, but mm -hmm. they're much larger. Yeah. And I think it's just just much nicer. You get the underground city, you get a little hike through a nice valley, you get to see some other cool spots, some viewpoints and some history, some churches. So yeah, overall I think it's uh, definitely good value for money. I forgot to film lunch, but it was delicious, and that's the reason why I forgot to film it. We're now at the next stop, which is called Nar Lake, which is this cool crater behind us. Where does this remind you of? Kilatoya, I think. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, it's very like Kilatoya, but Kilatoya was a little more epic. I think we've still got a few more stops on this tour. It's kind of turned into a little bit of a hop on, hop off bus tour. It's still nice, it's still good value for money. The lunch was very nice. I, really enjoyed the lunch. I think that was one of the best lunches we had on like any sort of tours mm. and we took like, quite a few tours on this trip <laughs> we made one final stop at the spice bazaar on our way back to Goreme where if we hadn't already bought a huge amount of turkish delight in istanbul we probably would have been tempted to buy even more After being dropped back off in Gorome, we wandered around the streets in the evening, which is a much better option for avoiding the heat of the day and getting to see the streets beautifully lit up. Today we treated ourselves to a pottery kebab, a traditional kebab variety of the Cappadocian region. It's cooked in a clay pot and opened up right in front of you and is absolutely delicious. The 
it's our final day here in Cappadocia, which is very sad. Yeah, it went very quickly. But we've got one more adventure on this last day. We're going to be doing kind of circular hike through the Red Valley and the Rose Valley, all the way up to the Fairy Chimneys, which are quite far from Cappadocia. Yeah. It's going to be a, be a long day. You know, if you're into hiking and stuff, it's definitely walkable from Gorome, which is the nice thing about this area. Otherwise, of course, you can take a tour and, and yeah. do the same thing. You can do basically the red tour. We did the green mm -hmm. tour yesterday, and the red tour basically takes you to these viewpoints and areas. So if you're short on time or you're not into an all day long hiking, yeah. <laughs> then definitely take the, the red tour. Obviously the main difference between the valleys we were in on our last walk and this valley is that the rocks here are kind of a red and rosé colour, hence the name Red and Rose Valley. Whereas on the other side you had the Pigeon Valley, which was named because of all of the pigeons there, how they have the pigeon houses where they collect the pigeon poo. And they had the White Valley, which of course had the white rock. So the names are very obvious when you think about it. It's nice, it's uh, definitely more time positive than the Log Valley was and yeah. the White Valley was. It's just as slippery. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm enjoying this one more just because it's kind of cool, it kind of winds between the rocks it just feels a little more fun. about halfway down the Rose Valley Trail. We've come to this church, I think it's called Hackley Church. There's a really nice fresco inside the main bits of it. And you also can come up into this upper area and get this amazing view out to the Rose Valley and the Red Valley. It's just such a crazy place. Just can't get enough of it. Especially these buildings, like. Just beauty everywhere. Yeah, so crazy how they used to live in here. So we're getting pretty close to the ferry chimneys now. Not gonna lie, it's been a very long walk. A lot of it's just been kind of on roads or tracks a bit like this one. One interesting and cool part was going through the Rose Valley. We did figure that there is actually a bus that goes between a couple of towns and stops in Gorome and at the ferry chimneys and then also at the Zelve Open Air Museum. If you want to get the bus, I think it goes like every hour, you can do that as well. Let's see if we will actually go yeah. because yeah. it's going out long. So that's the plan, yeah, is to take the bus back yes. to Gorome after we've seen the ferry chimneys, fingers crossed, because we really don't want to walk all the way back. We made it, whew, after five hours. <laughs> so hot. Yeah, yeah, so cool. crazy structures like little rocks with hats on and apparently the top is like the hardest part of the rock so that kind of stays big and then the middle the neck bit is the softest so that erodes in and then the bottom is kind of like the medium they form this kind of chimney almost looks like the top of the rock is just sitting on top very cool We left the fairy chimneys and hopped on the bus back to Gorome. We absolutely loved our time in Cappadocia. It's such a unique and iconic travel destination, and whilst that means that it can get super busy, it's easy to escape the crowds on one of the many hiking trails dotted around the area. To top it all off, the hot air balloon flight was one of our top travel bucket list items, and it did not disappoint. We hope you enjoyed this video and the rest of our Turkey series, and we'll see you in a new country and a different continent in our next video.